Implicit memory, also known as non-declarative memory, is a type of long-term memory that works unconsciously and automatically. Unlike explicit memory, which requires active recall of facts or events, implicit memory is used without deliberate effort. It involves memories that influence our behaviour and skills without us necessarily being aware of them. For example, it allows us to perform tasks such as riding a bicycle or tying our shoelaces without consciously thinking about each step involved. Implicit memory is closely tied to repeated experiences and practice, making it essential for procedural skills and learned habits. Now let's look at some examples of implicit memory to understand it better. A prominent example is procedural memory, which helps us perform motor tasks. For instance, when a person rides a bike, they rely on their implicit memory to balance, pedal and steer even if they haven't done it for years. This type of memory allows the process to feel natural and automatic once learned, even if the individual cannot describe how they perform these actions step by step. Another example involves habits and routines. Actions like brushing your teeth or automatically locking the door when leaving the house rely heavily on implicit memory. These behaviours become so ingrained through repetition that they no longer require active thought. For instance, you may not remember the individual steps of locking the door, but your body completes the task seamlessly. Another fascinating example is language acquisition. Implicit memory plays a crucial role in learning and using grammar rules. Most people follow these rules correctly without explicitly knowing them. For example, native speakers of a language can intuitively form grammatically correct sentences without being able to explain why a specific structure is used. Implicit memory also influences emotional responses. If a person had a positive experience in a specific location, they might feel happy or relaxed when visiting that place again, even if they cannot recall the original experience. Similarly, negative experiences can result in aversions or unease towards certain stimuli, even when the source of discomfort isn't consciously remembered. Now let's consider how implicit memory contrasts with explicit memory. Explicit memory involves conscious recollection of information, such as recalling the date of an event or naming all the planets in the solar system. In contrast, implicit memory works below the surface, requiring no active effort. While explicit memory relies on the hippocampus, implicit memory is more connected to other brain structures like the cerebellum and basal ganglia, which are involved in motor functions and habits. Additionally, Explicit memory is more fragile and subject to forgetting, while implicit memory tends to be more enduring, especially for skills learned through repetition. Together, these two types of memory allow humans to store and retrieve information in complementary ways. In summary, implicit memory is a powerful and automatic aspect of our long-term memory that shapes our skills, habits and behaviours. It's seamless integration into everyday life allows us to perform complex tasks without conscious effort. By contrasting it with explicit memory, we see how these two types of memory complement each other to help us navigate the world efficiently and effectively.